The million dollar question, should you take the gold armor or the red evo shield? Hey guys, in today's video, I'll try my best to answer the impossible question. It feels like whenever you ask people this, you get different answers. So I'll give you my opinion and why I think it's the best way when deciding what to choose. Now, before we get started, I just want to say I call it gold armor and red evo. To avoid all confusion going forward, people call it all kinds of you know gobbledygook but we're gonna go with gold armor and red evo now first of all let's cover the basics when you have gold armor you get times two of syringes and shield cells so for example using a shield cell will replenish your shields by two and syringes will get you double the hp so white then blue then purple and eventually the red evo shields with each damage you output, it charges your shield up through the rarities, upgrading, the, you know, as you will. Now, I assume you know that. You know trying to better yourself on YouTube videos, I can pretty much guess you know the basics. So now that's covered, let's move on. Oh, and by the way, the best way to better yourself is to subscribe to the channel uh, for more guides, but hey-ho. Now, first off the bat, something I want to get across pretty quickly. Nothing is more scarier than seeing a red Evo shield. Whenever I shoot an enemy with gold armor, I am nowhere near as scared. There's definitely a mentality thing there. You are more likely to push the enemy if they have gold, but many times I can remember off the top of my head that I've turned to my teammates and said, hey, look, let's not push this. They have red Evos. Let's try and do something a little bit different here. One of the first things you need to think about is your choice of legend. If you're running someone like Lifeline, it can be very beneficial to have gold armor. Due to the healing drone, two shields, you can get back to pretty much 100% within seconds. Gibraltar is very similar. Dropping a bubble shield and popping two shield cells can be a very good tactic to get out of the fight quickly. Uh, but just say, for example, you're Gibraltar and you're pushing forward and you get caught out. You can throw your bubble shield down and, you, and pop some shields and syringes and be pretty much back to normal and allow your team to catch up. That's if you get caught out. I never recommend that. I would also say that Octane is great because of his passive health regen, similar to Lifeline. Popping a couple shield cells to escape can be very strong. Now, characters like Wraith, Pathfinder, Octane are really good for gold armor because it allows you to go ahead and scout. And then, you know, if, if you do get caught out and you need to pop a really quick shield cell or a syringe, you can do that pretty quickly and then escape through the fight whilst the enemy team are pushing you. Uh, but as I said, that only really accounts for the um, the scouters of the group, you know, Wraith, Pathfinder, Octane, uh, etc. Now, the good thing about gold armor, and I think this gets pushed under the rug a little bit, you can give shield batteries to teammates uh, and then keep the shield cells for yourself um, and basically allow, you know, tanky legends like Gibraltar and Caustic. Uh, the red evos, you know, just bear in mind, uh, Gibraltar and Caustic both have the passive that gives them the reduced incoming damage. So bundle that with red evos, it can be somewhat disgusting. Uh, a lovely tip from Gibraltar that I covered in one of his guides that I made was if you have a red evo, it's very good to, pr to give that to someone else on your team as you have the gun shield, you have the, you know, the passive of, in of less incoming damage. So I definitely think that's something to think about. Now, another thing to also think about is sniping. Uh, whenever you're using, you know, um, red Evo shields, um, sniping is a great thing because you're shooting from far away. So you're not exactly dealing a lot of damage. Gold's really good if you need to quickly get a heal off. Um, but sticking with the red Evo shield, sniping is great for this as you can keep your distance you know, wear the enemy down a little bit and keep your team and keep yourself shielded and ready for battle. You can also spend more time in the storm with gold armor. So the amount of times that I've actually dropped red Evo to pick up gold armor if I'm chasing through the storm, trying to, you know, just got into a fight, trying to escape the storm. Because obviously with the syringes and the shield cells, you can stay alive for longer in the, in, in the storm. Uh, and that's just one thing, one good thing to notice. As, a, as I said, sometimes it's wise to drop the red Evo and pick up the gold if you know you're going to get caught out by the circle. Because in the later game, it's not hard to grab a red Evo shield or a purple shield that, you know, is very, very close to the end. Uh, another thing uh, that I would also say is if you're struggling to find shield batteries, I would definitely go with gold. Now, 
many people don't do this and i feel like i see this a lot in the higher ranks not so much this the kind of lower ranks um the actual ability to get shield batteries is pretty easy if you go to a replicator um you'll you find that you'll slowly get the replicator points uh, as you play the game opening crates etc um you can get shield batteries for a very low uh, cost from the replicators and i don't think the replicators are used as much as they should do in my opinion as they should do so with that being said definitely if you're struggling to find the shield batteries don't go for the red evo go for the gold and then you know kill an enemy team grab some shield batteries and, and a red evo if they have it or a purple armor that is you know close to the red evo section so you know sub minus about 300 left now my opinion uh, on the red evo versus gold armor tends to be you know quite quite easy um, unless i have a purple shield with around 300 evo to get to red i will pretty much stick with the gold armor uh, just because i enjoy the ability to share batteries with teammates and replenish shields pretty quickly uh, but it's not hard to find a purple evo with only a couple hundred left um, or a better red evo in the later games you can find red evos on pretty much every box and and failing that purple shield with about 200 left with the beauty of shield swapping it's very easy to find those high uh, purple armors uh, or as i said luckily enough a red evo um so that's that's my thoughts on it i think it ultimately comes down to what your what you're personally into if you want to you know go out and and say for example you get caught out more times than uh, than you want to um that's not okay but if you do and you and you and you and you realize that it's quite good to to go for the gold armor as it does allow you to to get caught out and you know uh how, how can i word this without sounding like i'm giving advice to people getting caught out um basically rectify your mistake of getting caught out um, but as I said, if, if you like, you know, just popping a shield bat, popping a shield cell, dealing damage from afar, the Red Evo is an insanely good tool. I remember when they first brought out these Red Evos and the abilities to upgrade your shield, and it was a game mode. I can't remember what season it was, back in season three or something like that. And people hated the idea so much. But it was all good because uh, now people have come round to it. But I will just say, as I said earlier in this video, whenever I shoot against a Red Evo shield, uh, I do panic a lot more than when I shoot a gold Evo shield. I, I, I tend to just push anyway. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to have any other discussions, leave a comment below. Um, I can make videos on various Apex Legends topics. If you have anything you want me to make a video on, as I said, please let me know in a comment. But until the next video, I'll see you later.